Hi everyone, hope all is well. Let me give you all some time to come on in. Hey guys, hope y'all are doing good. Um, I just want to um, see. Um, just testing this thing out. <laughs> um, this is my um, my new um, my personal organ. This is my Hammond C2. Um, I'm going to give you a real quick brief uh, history about this organ. Um, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, it's actually going through uh, a four, through a 45 cabinet with a 22H um, and then right here you have um, yeah Mr. Kersey how you doing sir hope you're doing good nice looking C2 love the quadrifoil details of the pre 1959 cabinets yes um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's really, 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 really nice. Um, I'm getting more stands <laughs> shortly because this stand is kind of too small for it. But however, um, this is a 1952, uh, early uh, 1952. Um, as you can see, the Neo Vent is also going to a Neo Vent as well. And then my KC amp, which is right here. Um, well, you can't see it's down. It's down. So my stand can't go that far as all it is. But, however, um, yeah, so real quick, brief history. Uh, this is a 1952 early uh, C2 model, and um, y'all excuse me, I'm drinking some tea. <laughs> um, it's an early 52 model. This was in the church. This uh, They bought this actually, uh, before it got into the church, they bought it directly from the old Hammond organ factory um back then um in chicago so this came out directly from the factory i mean most hammonds do but um based on the information that i have on this as well as the paperwork that's in the bench um this was bought um to a church and then it went to, um church institute or something like that and then um the lady her name is mrs spiner or spinger or whatever her name is but yeah um yeah, so um, they had it for a long time um, and so forth. So I'm now the, then a pr another friend of mine, um, he got it um, and from someone else that, that used to be at that church. And um, now I'm the third owner. So it really sounds good. It has some good features on it that I do like. I'm gonna play it real quick so y'all can hear what it sounds like um, and so forth. Any other questions, just let me know. And if y'all can hear me, just, just buzz in the chat. You tell me if y'all can hear me. All right, let me turn on the light. Yeah, so, um, this is what it sounds like. Um,
So, Mr. Kersey, Mr. White, I need your expertise. In a month, I will get the 1962C3, which... Oh, 1960, I'm sorry, C3, which was situated inside a warehouse together with a 147. I will need to oil the up... I, I will need to oil it up... Oil, oil the up for sure. Are you talking about oiling the organ? Um, is it already wired for a 147? Yeah, is the amp, uh, is the organ, I'm sorry, wired for a 147? Yeah. Um, sorry, y'all can't see my, um, as I said, I promise you, I'll be getting some more cameras soon. Um, yeah. So, um, so my question is, for how long should I leave the... Um, if it's not been oiled in a while, just have it run for a good 15, 20 minutes. Make sure you oil the caps. Good. And please use Hammond, um, oil generator oil. Do not use any form of, um, um, any heavy oils or something. Because you don't want to clog or mess up that, um, that, the, 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 the generator. But use the Hammond oil. Um, and for Leslie Motors, you have the Leslie oil or you can use sewing machine oil. But for oiling the Hammond, um, I have the original Hammond oil. If it comes with it, if it's the old Hammond oil in a in a in a metal can, it may, it may be an old oil. You may want to throw that out. So get the new one that's in is in my uh, my thing right here. Um, use the from Tone Wheel General or the plastic one that has a white bottle with the blue logo that says Hammond oil. Oh, you bought a new one? Okay, yeah. Yeah, never use the older can. The older cans like back in the in the war days and stuff. But um y'all excuse me, I'm drinking some tea here. But um yes, so but since you have the newer one, since you have the newer one, um that would be that would be fine. Um yeah, you should be fine. Um, I mean, just test it out. Make sure you have a technician um, with you, um, if need be. And um, yeah, and you can inbox me for those who are coming and welcome aboard. You can, um, Mr. Curse, you can inbox me on Facebook. My name is Delroy White um, on Messenger and on Facebook. You can send me, I have two Facebook accounts, the Delroy White page two and the Delroy White. You can send me or follow me on um, Delroy White um, page page one. But a page two, you can you can uh, send me a request. All right. So what we have done to this? Uh, let me talk uh, real quick. So based on that, I'm the third owner for the um, the C2 here, and um, we have done. I had five technicians that came together. Um, you're welcome, sir. Um, I had five technicians, include along with myself, um, that. Um, that came up with some ideas of improving the C2 to make it, um, just, you know, it, when it just came, it sounded, it sounded wonderful. I didn't really have any issues with it. No, no form of issues. Um, you know, so, but, um, we've done some, some stuff to this that makes it really good. And I'm going to be doing some tutorials on, um, on the organ itself, more, more uh, a series of tutorials regarding, you know, the speed changes, the ramp up and down times. Yes, I am back <laughs> with that. I've did some ramp up and down time changes on it with the vent and the um, the Leslie uh, 45 cabinet. Um, so I try my best to have it synced with um, the, the, the cabinet. It came, it came uh, pretty close. The only difference with the acceleration, it's only bridged for both the ramp up and down time for um, the top and bottom rotors. So they don't give you different access, but that's all right. Um, I did the best, which pretty much come close to it. Um, so that's one of the features I said, we had it um, wired with a, um, a Neo vent. Um, so I can, in the studio, you know, at, at night, I can definitely practice. Also, um, it has reverb. Excuse that that little um, that spray paint. The pot needs to be cleaned.
pre reverb and that really sounds good really sounds so that's one of my um one of the um <coughs> excuse me <coughs> one of the uh <coughs> oh god excuse me oh lord <coughs> excuse me all right so that came with one of the uh the features i've been a uh, reverb added <coughs> excuse me added to um the this organ here um it's very warm and it's solid stated it's not this organ is not a tube amp um i'm planning on doing some upgrades to the amp by sending it back to trek and i'm going to do another tutorial with an ao10 um amplifier um however um <clears throat> yeah but it's going to a tube uh leslie so um what was i saying so that's one of the um one of the features that we've added um the vent is t uh going to the vib3 uh kit switch uh kit where you can it's wired to one switch where i don't have to use this right here the the, the slow and fast toggle button right here i can use it off the switch um and it's tied along with the leslie so both the cabinet the uh the 45 cabinet and the um and the vent is going at the same time they're synced um by the part of the switch based on how it was wired by my technician shout out to marcus spears um uh, my technicians that made it really possible uh, marcus spears willie hudson mr mike from trek mr marvin jones um as well all right so let's go to the other stuff that i was saying about that i like so um with the Another feature that they've added to it um, is the um, is the chorus vibrato pot, <laughs> and uh, it's not normal for C twos uh, to have uh, that thick, thick, um, you know, like the early sixties twelve um, k thick um, chorus vibrato. Originally, when we did the test on the uh, measuring the um, the um, how many the the, the uh, how many uh, hertz coming 12k uh, coming out of this? It's actually a 20k uh, resistor that came with this um, organ, and um, yeah, it was a 20k uh, resistor that came out of this. So my technician Marcus, we tried a 10k. It was okay. I just didn't like it. However, um, I will say though, um, um, we did try 12k pot and um, we installed it and it was really good so what this does the pot over here you may not see it but in the future when i get my cameras you will see all the good stuff um uh, the secret stuff as what some people would say <laughs> um so let me see um This there's no card, it's on C3. It's there, it's just that I turned it off with a knob. So once I dial it in, you can hear it. the original tone of what the C2 was giving me.
that's C3 right here. So let's go to B1. Uh, with the vent and the Leslie, we turn it down. So this is the the, the vent has been turned down. <laughs>
together so y'all can hear it so you can hear you can hear that band let me make sure I turn it down a little bit so you can um
There's a whole song that they do in, uh, in Church of God in Christ. Uh, all the glory, the honor.
2 really gives me that old touch. It really does. It really has that old tone to that, like. Um, in the other tutorials to come, we're going to discuss about that, you know, different chords and all that. But I'm going to go more in depth with this, um, with a couple series to come regarding the, the, you know, the sound of the organ and, you know, all that type of stuff, good stuff. But um, I was saying, um, this is a solid state um, C2. They saw this amp is solid state. Is. Um, I thought it was not going to really push, but it really does push. I'm actually on soft right now, and I'm not even halfway on my pedals, you know. Um, it's really a clean organ, clean organ tone organ, um, sounding organ. Um, of this tutorial here hope you all like it any questions um 
or any inquiries. Let's see. Boston, he does uh, sell organs and stuff. guys that's going to be the end of my um my first material on this organ uh there are a couple more to um there will be more uh videos coming and so forth so any questions you all can reach out to me and as a matter of fact before i go i'm going to let you all see what it looks like and um yeah there we go Oop, that was my stand right there <laughs> And um, yeah, guys, so this is what it looks like. And that's the bent corning, uh, as you can see. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching my tutorials. I will see you all next time. Y'all take care. Bless. Bye. <laughs>